Hi and welcome to another video. Today I'm on the middle seven. Now I don't know this stretch at all, I've never fished here before. This is a stretch that's on a, a new club ticket for this season. So yeah, first time down here. Um, I'm quite late getting here, I must admit I'm quite hard, I've been quite rushing. My um, my wife was out for the day so I didn't get to leave the house till sort of six o'clock-ish. So yeah, it's been a bit of a rush so uh, I've not filmed myself setting up or anything because I didn't get time so and it's now sort of 8, 8.23 uh, and I think sunset's about 8.40 so it'll be getting dark soon. So yeah, so a bit of a rush to set up today. Um, I'll show you the peg. This is the uh, spot I'm going to be fishing. As I say, I don't really know anything about it. There's my uh, shelter for the evening. Not got the bivvy today, just got the uh, brolly shelter out. The rods are not fishing at the moment. So I've put my deeper through and there's a nice bit of pace on this sort of far side here. Um, and I've got about six foot down there where there's a bit of pace. There's not much pace in, on the inside here. It's almost a bit of a back eddy here. And it's it's shallower here. It's only three or four foot. So I will be casting both rods over to the sort of three quarters of the way or two thirds of the way into slightly faster water. I say slightly faster. It's not really very fast, but it's it's at least it's got some flow there rather than here where it hasn't. As I say, I've got a good six foot there. So while I've been setting up, I have been putting out some uh, soaked pellets and ground bait just like squeezing them into balls and chucking them out down there just to hopefully get fish looking for feed before I actually cast out. I'm going to put a 15 mil boilie on a size 10 on one rod with a small PVA bag and a size 16 boilie on a size 8 on the other rod. Uh, yeah so that's it both PVA bags and I'll be casting out any minute now as I say sunset will be with us very soon so see how we get on hopefully uh hopefully see you with the fish or two a bit later we might have something on this one Doesn't look like it's going to be very big We do have something on the end, but it really isn't very big. It's possibly a roach rather than a chub, which I thought it would be. Wow, that looks like a big roach. Hmm. I'll get it unhooked. I might even wait and have a look at that. So that roach is one pound six. That's a pretty big roach. I mean, I'm not an expert. It could be a hybrid, but yeah, it looks like a roach. Good old fish, that one pound six. First fish of the evening. A bit of a rest and then we're let it go. Was it a bream? <laughs> Could be a bream. Yeah. yeah it's a bream. Oh! <laughs> Came off just as it went in the net. So I have got it. Right, 
Let's just get that rod safe. Let's have a look at what we got. Yep, it's a bream. I'm not going to weigh that. Don't know what that is. A couple of pound, three pound maybe, something like that. Anyway, it obviously came off the hook, so we'll put it straight back. I think this one just went. Yeah, I think. But I think it's probably another bream or something. I think there's something on the end, it's not very big. Alright. I've just got something on the end. I think it's oh, I think it's just a small I think it might be a bream actually. I'll be with you in a sec. Yeah. It's a bream. First one. Oh. Um, it's the second bream, yeah. and I also had a roach. No, no barbel, no. You, Are you fishing? I just came down. I'll be on a peg next to you. One peg up. I just saw a light crashing yeah. across. Yeah, I just came down. Well, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to sit at home over the day. It was too hot, like you know. Yeah. I slept a little bit, so I thought I'm not going to sleep tonight. So. But you come down. I um, I've not been fishing long. I didn't get it in myself. It's almost dark. Yeah. So. Uh, a good start, then. So I've had two bream yeah. and a roach. Okay. It was quite a big roach actually. I actually weighed the roach. It was one pound six. Okay. Though it could have been, I guess, a hybrid. Yeah. Um. It looked like a roach, but. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll go set myself up if you need any help, let me know, mate. Okay, good luck. Seems to be the new one. See it, Louise? Yep. It's not very big, though. No, no. We are getting lots of small barbel between a pound and two pound at the moment but also three eels come out last night and the, the people said they was just played with them all night but they was on the next peg up the next peg that way no going up river oh, yeah. the, the next one the other way is quite a big peg isn't it yeah yeah i knew i knew you went in that one i quite like that one this one, uh, next week, once it's cooled down a bit, will be stringed out, so it will be basically twice the size. Right, here's that chub. It's not huge. It's three pound. Three pound dead, in fact. But still. Fourth fish of the night. Two bream, a roach, and a chub. So, yeah. There's a few fish about, but just no barbel at the moment. Let's get it back. Oh, 
bubuy there's quite a few bats flying about Is it another small chub? I think. Uh, in it goes. It's another another big roach. Oh, that's the second big roach tonight. So if we can just get that in the net. Just... Oh, oh. <sighs> <laughs> Nearly lost it. A very lively fish. Right, there we go. Big roach. I might even weigh that, you know. That's a hell of a roach. So this roach is one pound eleven. That's a big roach, that is, isn't it? Don't see roach that big very often. One eleven. Wow. GoPro start recording. Wow. We have something at 3.30 in the morning. Could even be a barber. To Andy. Come to Andy. It's only a little barbel. A little barbel that doesn't want to come up. I mean, they run around these fishes. Come on. It's not that big a fish. Right, well, here's that barbel. There it is. Seven pound seven. It's not huge, but very welcome fish. Seven, 
seven seven. Right. Well, we'll get it back. And there's this fish, it's been resting for quite a long time now. So we'll let it go. There it goes. Off to fight another day. Bye bye, Mr. Barbel. Thank you for popping to see me. We might have a fish on here. This should be another barbel, I would imagine. Very close now to me. Ooh. There we go. Surfaced for the first time. in that net there we go right we'll give it a little rest and then we'll get it out and have a look right then here's that barbel Nice fish, eight pound ten. Yep, feels quite heavy actually, it feels heavier than that. Yeah, eight ten. Nice, get it back and get the rod back out. Morning, just having my morning brew, contemplating last night. I had me pot noodle for breakfast. A bit of a mixed night in the end, really. So quite early on, just kind of nine-ish, I think. I had a roach at one six, which was big roach. And then I think it was about half nine. Had um, a bream, didn't wait two and a half, three pound. And I think about it was about an hour later, about half ten, I had another bream, again, similar size, two and a half, three pounds, something like that. About eleven-ish, I think I had a chub, that was, I did weigh that, that was three pounds dead on. And then nothing till about twelve thirty, when another roach, a big roach as well, one pound eleven. That's, um, that is a sizeable roach. I was talking to the bailiff actually, and he did say that there's been some big roach coming up, even a few over two pounds. It was then quiet until 3.30 where it was a proper roaring bite and that was a barbel at 7.7. 7. Then about an hour later, about 4.30 again, the other rod tore off, another barbel, £8.10. And then this morning, about 6 o'clock, downstream rod went again. Unfortunately, it got snagged. It's really annoying. I could feel it had gone either through something or round something because if I put the rod down the fish was still there and it was the tip was still going 
but I tried different angles, low, high. I couldn't couldn't get it to couldn't get it to come out, whatever it was in. And then eventually, I think with all my pulling, the line snapped. So shame. One, I've lost the fish, and two, I guess that fish has still got a hook in its mouth. So not nice. But overall, not bad. Seven fish and one lost fish. So not the worst session ever. Um, it's now about half seven in the morning so I'm gonna finish this coffee and start to uh, pack away and head off home so hope you like the video if you do subscribe I'll see you again cheers guys